And thank you for giving me the opportunity to get off my chest, Mr. Fowler. Uh, well, he's got it off his chest uh, and he joins us now live. Uh, Malcolm Baker, good to talk to you today. Uh, why did you decide to go down and have a word with Tim Farron? It's something that I've been wanting to do for at least the last year um, since the Brexit vote. And uh, it's ironic that it's happened on my 60 for, 65th birthday because I did want to get certain things off my chest with Tim Farron. Um, there's various politicians that wind me up very, very much on the television. And uh, Tim Farron, Farron is, I'm afraid, one of them. Well, you, you certainly did go down and, and have your, uh, explain your thoughts to him instead of just sitting at home shouting at the telly. Uh, do you, what you said to him about the way that Leave voters have been characterised, do, do, you, do you believe that? Do you think the people who voted Leave feel in this election that they are being characterised as, as not understanding what they voted for? This is what I said to Tim. At the end of the day, the government sent out leaflets to every household in the UK. Those leaflets explained exactly what would happen if we were to vote leave. So when I went and put my cross on the leave side of the ballot, I knew exactly what I was voting for. And as a Liberal Democrat, the de democracy of this country is that we had an election, the result was we leave, we don't need another referendum. Tim Farron and would say that, that you voted... I did not like... Sorry, sorry to introduce... Uh, to, to Tim Farron Malcolm. said to me that... Yeah, no, that's fine. I was just going to say that Tim Farron says that, okay. that essentially people like you voted for a departure, uh, but, but what, what should happen now is that you get a vote on the destination. I mean, do, do you think that second vote in any way would be useful? Absolutely not. At the end of the day, we all knew that when we were voting, that if we voted leave, we would be coming out of the single market, we would be coming out of the free movement of people, and that we would come out of the uh, Court of Justice. We knew that. We voted, and the result was that the leave campaign won. We don't need another referendum. Let's look forward that this country is positive. We can succeed outside of Europe, and I want somebody in there fighting for Britain when it comes to these negotiations. And for me, Tim Farron is not that person. I will say I, I was wound up, but he, he listened to me. He put his views over to me. He, I was asked would I vote Liberal Democrat at this election. I said emphatically no, because I don't agree with what you're doing. I understand you're a lifelong Labour supporter, Malcolm. I, yes, I've, this would be the first time I've ever voted in a general election for the Conservatives. Are we t are you talking about the election? W what is it about Theresa May that, that makes you feel that she's the right person to head these Brexit negotiations and not Jeremy Corbyn as a lifelong Labour supporter? Well, for me, Theresa May is strong. She's got this country at heart. She's going to the country for a mandate. Uh, Jeremy Corbyn is from a distant past, a left wing of the party, and things have moved forward. And some of his, some of his ideas I agree with. I've worked in social care for 10 years, so I know what the problems are in social care, and I like the idea that uh, he would like to put more money in. But there's other things I don't think he would be good for this country. Would you like to put the two <coughs> pen in with Mr like, Corbyn? Would... If, he, if he comes to your town, oh, are you yes. going to sit down and have Jeremy... a word with him? I would invite Jeremy Corbyn round to my house and we could sit in the garden and have a cup of tea and discuss it. <laughs> well, uh, it is your birthday and today, Malcolm. I would invite Malcolm. Theresa May as well. <laughs> I was going to say, I think Theresa Thank May you. probably well, I have might feel like from... sending you a birthday card. Um, what are you doing this evening? Are you out <laughs> celebrating? No, no, I'm going to be uh, watching the uh, TV this evening and listening to all the debates um, and getting myself wound up again. Okay, but well, I'll give Tim he... Farron his due. He did send a tweet wishing me a happy birthday, so... Well, you're probably going to we be on quite on a lot of those terms. TV news bulletins this evening, so definitely stay tuned. Malcolm, lovely to talk to you. Thanks for joining us on Sky News.
Yeah, be rocky, rocky.